It is day seven, the last day at a racetrack for this year's one lap. We all got here pretty early. I think everyone's just in the rhythm of being up at five in the morning at this point. So uh, it is Putnam Park, very foggy, it's damp out. It's supposed to rain within the next two hours, but we're supposed to run within the next two hours. So the conditions are going to remain unpredictable, but regardless, we kick off our morning routine just like every day, Ooh, there we go. So we get to the track, disconnect the trailer. We're gonna save some space for Andy and Alex. I guess I should help. <laughs> All right, so we have our space. Now, each of us have our jobs. So Steve starts unpacking for the bike. Well, do you want the bike today or are you gonna no, walk? I'll walk. Good for shuffling. Uh, I'm gonna go, uh gas in the car. Okay. So the morning, well, typical routine would be de-bike the trailer so I can go ride the track. And then Steve will start with fuel, tire pressures. Uh, if it's cool, yes, please. Coffee. Beautiful. Yes, please. If it's cold, we'll do the tire blankets. And all that will happen while I'm walking my happy ass around the racetrack. We are at Putnam Park in Greencastle, Indiana. It's about 7 a.m. Uh, and he's out walking the course. Kind of wet and soggy, um, but probably is not gonna rain again until after we do the morning runs. I have added fuel to the car. I'm busy getting the car ready. I've added fuel so far. Uh, swapped the rear tires left to right. Um, still need to set tire pressures on the back. Uh, clean the windshield. The windshield doesn't look too bad. Re rain axle windshield, get Andy's suit out for him and all his gear so he's ready to go. Uh, talk the wheels, and that's about it. Had a good transit last night, and we're ready to go for the last track day. It's a pretty damp track. I don't see this drying up any time before we run, which is like in about an hour and a half, maybe. The conditions when they start. When they start damp like this, and then they start drying up and everyone else gets faster, that's when some real shuffling uh, can happen. So, if it can just stay consistent, that would probably be the safest, I think. This place looks like a lot of fun in the dry. But we also have a lot to lose. Both of us, Tom and I, can win it or lose it at this track, I think. Or have, have the chance of winning it if the other loses, I should say. We both have the chance of losing it, maybe not winning it. How about that? Realistically, you think the dead finish on the dry split pad? I expect 15. I would be sad lower than 20. But a lot more evident for this year than the previous years. I'm excited to grab this. Oh, that's good. So I couldn't, man, when I launched it, clunk, 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 with shifts, clunk. So I was babying shifts, trying to not downshift, leave it in one gear so there's no shock on the, it's just the two back bolts holding this whole dip up. And the drive shaft. Huh? It's got a drive shaft. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that was so stressful. I heard it on the outlap, I heard the full back. Oh yeah. One more car, one more. Two more, one more, two more. But where are the results? Do we have any? I got you by five seconds. My second still? Yeah. Hey, what do you need? They finally gave up. We're still waiting. Both are broke. The front mount's broke. 
both front miles are broken. Just hoping that it's not red light. I'm going to have to fab up my own diff mount. I can't believe this held up. Afternoon should be wet, right? Yeah. So, I drove it for three laps with zero front mounts in it. Just these back mounts holding the whole diff up. Trailer might not make it, but the car's going to. All right, do a little recap now. Uh, finally caught my breath. So first session out, it made some noise on the outlet. I kind of already knew what it was as soon as I heard the noise. So we come back to the starting line, and um, there's another car that went off track that got stuck. So they actually red flagged everyone. We sat on pit lane for like 10 minutes, which was enough time for me to get out, realize what actually happened, and panic, and we tried to get stuff fixed, but just couldn't some time. I did the whole morning session with uh, basically no front diff mounts attached. So there's these two big, huge adapter pieces that bolt up where the factory diff mounts go, but the way it's bolted up, it puts a lot of stress on it and twists the back, and then because it puts so much leverage um, twisting, these bolts also see that same amount of leverage and then just snap off. So we rigged something up before that worked for the most part, but obviously it didn't last. So both of those bolts broke off and this whole diff was only mounted and supported by these back mounts. And it made it. Huh? We just need to cut this. Right. That's all. Yeah. Someone's got a cutter here. No one's got a, anything? A saws off? Cut off wheel? Oh, someone's, someone's got hand saw. Yeah, okay. give me that. Hand saw? Yeah, I'll fucking cut that. Won't take long. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? 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 You're never gonna fix this. You're gonna get home and just leave it. This is the fix. Yeah. Need more of a spacer. Yeah. Do that with some jack handle. Yeah, I think jack handle makes the most sense. Just get a measurement. You have a pair of calipers? <laughs> All right, so here's my fix. Took this bar, which is already a little bent, but it can only bend so far. We stole this U-joint thing off the trailer where the spare tire is, and then we cut it in half and it fits perfectly in there. Those things stick up so I can bolt the back side and we just need a spacer in here. Mark the red hand. Yeah, jack. Jack handles are easy. Yeah, the washers are above and below, but at least still solid 14 inches of jack handle. Yeah. That's at least three tries. We got one. Do you want an electrical one? What? You got one? Oh. That's such a straight cut. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? Another one? Yeah. Damn. Uh, let's see if this one is just the same size. Perfect. Did the same size. <laughs> Good. Good. So the uh, competition here is getting hot in the last day, but nothing better to see the two guys fighting against each other, both working on the same car. Oh no, Tom's not working, he's just videoing Andy's misery, or his best day. I actually think this is Andy's favorite part of one lap. Using new bolts, but then I can put enough on Your annoying cameraman. 
You done? It's gonna probably rain more in the afternoon. It's already, it's already misting. Yeah. Same conditions. Take that in a second. It's fine. <laughs> Not sure if we should have did something that would have maybe helped it better. Oh, just fine? Yeah. Wow, that's more than the bridge you can't worry about. Super K just left, but this is the last time attack session of one lap. Yeah. We've got, We're ready to go. How do you guys feel? We got <laughs> Dang, the two like... spectators for the two yeah. the two car contention cars. Uh, Not to mention birthday boy. Uh, yeah, that's an added stress. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna still try though. We're gonna sit here cooking these rear tires for every second we can. The engine heats the front tire and the rear needs some help. Last session. Have fun. That was weird. I didn't like that you did that so slow. We're gonna make it awkward, bud. Sorry. So uh, things got a little intense yesterday for everybody involved. <laughs> you, want, you want the recap? Sure. <laughs> morning went all right. Um, can we cover the morning? Broke the diff. We have everything up to the diff breaking on video, and then all of us, <laughs> all of us clocked out. So after that, diff got fixed. Went out for the the afternoon session, which started pretty wet. Yeah, wetter than the morning. Yeah, for sure. It's going okay. Went into whatever corner that was, a little too hot. It was caught the edge, but then the two wheels just dipped off. And as soon as those two wheels dipped off, it just went off. And that grass is so slick. Like, it felt like forever to try to get back on the course. Yeah. Got back on, finished the lap. It was actually still in our session. I think that was still second. Uh, third. Still like okay. We were okay for the first couple sessions. Like I think we only dropped down to like fourth or fifth after yeah. like four or five run groups. But then it got really dry and a lot of cars moved up and got in the middle. So dropped us down to like 20 seconds, which was like I don't know how many points that was. 85 some points. 110 points. So we dropped. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So now we're 140. Yeah, 140. So, 29 spots you have to lose to us by today. <laughs> and on my end, yeah. I'm not sure what happened, but I had a pretty intense it's aftermath of my session. Couldn't, been, couldn't, couldn't stop shaking, yeah. couldn't calm down. It felt, yeah, was, it felt awesome, but it was really intense. So, none of us were feeling like hamming it up on camera really yeah. I, I knew that I had covered you in that session I didn't know you had gone off I saw that I was further ahead but that it had nothing to do with that it was just something something in the car and then it went from me being defeated to maybe you guys feeling a little defeated it's very close it's it's, it's, it's like that's one that, right? yeah like you're, you're going from the highs to lows non-stop lots of things are happening that's I mean that's kind of this, this is why we do it right is, is for that feeling that feeling of really being alive I guess yeah. I don't know if you realize how much it builds through the week until it ends so this morning uh, we do a photo take a picture and then we do a dry skid pad two laps in one direction two laps in the other 
They average our uh, lateral G from both directions, and then it's done. So Super K needs to beat the Corvette by 29 positions to win. It's not done, but it will be interesting to see how this goes. Tired? Yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> I do like Andy playing dumb last night at dinner. I'm going to figure out how to get the tires yeah. warm tomorrow. <laughs> God damn it. I gotta go southbound. I gotta find something warm. I thought, like, yeah, it's a little chilly out there. Oh, is that what that was referring to? <laughs> Got it. Tips are air, cash. This is the best angle. What's the best angle? This for people. Why, Nick? Is that nice? Low? Yeah, low. Backlit. How are you feeling? All right. I don't know. I feel okay. How do you feel? I feel Get like, better. I feel like there's literally no control over whatever. Yeah, there's really not. I mean, I don't have, I don't feel anything like, not that intense feeling like you're going on track. Yeah. Literally no idea. I've never done this before. There is, there is a lot of grip on the outside of the track. I've heard that. That's about far as we're around. I think we're getting close, right? You're up after... Woo! I just got excited! Alright. Super K is getting uh, preheating in the oven. Baking. Baking. Hopefully those cookies are done soon. A few setup changes for the dry skid pad. Really not setup changes, but tire warmers, getting those things warm. Last year we made the mistake of really just going out there on cold tires. Kind of thinking we are going to do really well, and we did. We did like 14th last year, so... Hopefully these are the trick. Taped up the front end a bit. Hopefully make some of this aero work. It's only like 30 mile an hour skid pad, so it's not significant, but do what we can. Right? Like, what do, you, yeah. what do we do now? <laughs> yeah, like you have to go back to normal life. What? What, I don't is, even know what, what you, that is? Yeah. 
because we have normal lives. Do I have to go to my home? Or is that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to say. Hope you guys enjoyed daily vlogging. Yeah. Um, it was hard. We're gonna do this again. Yeah. Yes, we'll do this we'll, again. We'll try. Um, I don't know what event is the next uh, big vlog <laughs> series, but remember to smash that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna stand here awkwardly on camera until we stop filming. Stop it, Tom. All right, bye.